All right, YouTube, just did a water change on a 60 gallon. Uh, it's still a little murky. Uh, also, yeah, room's bright pink, but it's only temporary. We're actually about to get a new house, so I gotta find a way to move all these tanks to another location, which is in my backyard, in my shed, which is a wreck right now. It's got all kinds of crap in there. Uh, we got to insulate it, sheet rock it, fill in some gaps where the walls keep getting in. Put AC and heat in there. It's going to be a process. It's going to be a very expensive process. So I just need y'all to hit that subscribe button. Please. You could definitely use it. Um, as of right now, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four tanks in here. One, two, three, four. Yep. I got a reef tank in my shed that I want to start setting up. That'll be another video. I got to get my water and new pumps for it and uh, new filtration. It's It was free. Most of my tanks I did get for free. A guy in Mobile, Alabama actually hooked me up. He said a dude had moved out, left everything. It seemed kind of odd. I walked in there, got everything. I don't see why I couldn't have got it. it. Took me roughly four hours to get all the tanks out. He did have a massive 500 gallon in there. I was by myself and I could not get it. I tried and ended up shattering it everywhere. Luckily, I was nice enough to help the guy out that was cleaning the house out and I cleaned up my mess. Left me a happy, happy individual. Therefore, if he ever got any more, he could call me. But uh, I'm going to give you all a look at what I got here. Only one of them has like two little fish in it. Uh, I'm still working on getting them updated and getting all their water correct. Therefore, I can put more fish in them. Some of them need a good cleaning. Some of them need more substrate. One of these tanks is going to be a planted tank. I'm not sure which one I want to do it with, but we shall see. So this is my 50 gallon. It's a split. That one's still got some stuff on the bottom of it. I don't know why. I got to clean it out. I also got to clean this one out. This one you'll see has a brim inside of it. I guess he got hungry and saw the pack of blood worms sitting up top. So he had to get a hold of it. It's also got a little minnow in there. It's for my son's tank. My son's got a little 10 gallon, roughly. I feel like it's a five gallon, but they said it's a 10. I don't know. I got to do the measurements on it. Also, yes, this room is a wreck obviously this is my 60 gallon I just did a water change on uh, let me turn on one of the lights real quick there we go we got two led lights up there also i got for free got a sponge filter in there obviously it needs to be cleaned here's another 50 gallon got a shop light up there works miracles Got a sponge filter and an HOB penguin pot bio wheel. This thing does great because that's the only thing I got in this 29 gallon and seems to be working pretty good. Got a little, a little stain right there, a little algae, but simple fix. Um, if y'all ever, ever feel that y'all got products that are not selling, let me know and I will do a video on it and I will help you sell it. If you sell snails, got somebody I just talked to earlier, actually yesterday and a little bit today, but she sells snails. Got a light freaking out over here. I don't know why. Kind of odd. It's actually dimming right now. Real scary. Um, she sells snails and uh as soon as she lets me know she's got a fresh batch ready to be shipped out i'm gonna order a ton of them and i'm going to blast her her website her product everything she has i will blast it and y'all will know where to get it she sells them at great prices i can promise you that she is just she's awesome to talk to she's very knowledgeable of her snails she knows how to take care of them She's got an awesome setup. Pretty soon I may do a trip to see what she's got and do a live feed of everything she's got. Um, 
again if y'all have like fish y'all wanna y'all having trouble selling because of this whole corona junk let me know and i will do videos on them and i will come out to you and i will blast it i will let everybody out there know what y'all got how y'all selling it how fast it takes for for y'all to ship things out if it's one or two day shipping or you know just i want everybody to know what y'all got and if i can help you i'm more than happy to help you uh pretty soon we're gonna start getting some merch out uh i'm trying to think i got some stickers i'm about to order like a hundred of them of the logo fins aquatics um trying to get some shirts some ideas for shirts some hats you name it i'll probably end up getting it if you want a coffee cup let me know i'll get it for you if you want toilet paper well can't do that we got a short supply so again you know uh my fish room is awfully small right now being that's the only spare room we did not use only for the mere fact it's bright pink yeah can't wait to burn this thing down i'm ready for a new house can't wait my little helpers aren't here today um they're actually with their mother who is that her dad's house? They were paying a buck for me this morning, so I hope they're returning the favor for her. Um, I do say I'm a lot. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't edit my videos. I am all natural. The reason I don't edit them is because I want y'all to see a real live person doing real live stuff without any interruptions. I want y'all to enjoy my stuff. I want y'all to see what it's like to be a real person and not edit anything shocking i know everybody edits videos i don't i don't even add thumbnails for the rear, mere fact that i gotta be real you know i mean if i can't gain your attention obviously it wasn't that important if i gained your attention obviously you liked it so hit that subscribe button like the videos enjoy them i got more videos coming I will see y'all soon. I may actually put up another video of my RO system, how I got it hooked up and what I use it for. Some people don't know how to hook them up the right way. Obviously there's certain ways you can hook them up. There's crappy ways you can hook them up. I've seen someone hook up an RO system to their sewage line. Why they did that, I have no idea, but that water looked disgusting. I hope they weren't drinking it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Peace out.